hopefully now you'll have watched Jack Brown's video um, where he's introduced the standard normal distribution where we have a mean of zero and a standard deviation and variance of one. The curve for this is the bell-shaped curve, mean zero, and he's explained the other bits about it. If we were asked to find the probability that Z was greater than 1.2, we could use our calculator or tables as he explained. On the calculator, I find the best way to get to this is go to your menu button, Choose the normal run mode, that's mode 1, press option, press F6, then look for probability, which is on F3, and then it's F6 one more time. Here, we have the options P, Q, R and T. The ones I'm interested in are the P and the R. R works out greater than problems, greater being the, the R, greater, like that, greater than, and the P is working out less than questions. So for this one, we want greater than 1.2. So all I need to press is the R for greater than, oops, not all that lot, R which is F3, and put in the 1.2, and the bracket, and it tells me the probability, 0 0.115. How that looks on the diagram, there we have it. So we've got 1.2 comes after noughts, probably about there. 1.2, draw a line going in the diagram, and shade in greater than. So that area there, is 0 0.115. Here we have a question where find the probability z is less than minus 0 0.3. So on the calculator, we want less than, so we want the p button, p minus 0.3 and the bracket, and it tells me the probability 0 0.382. And if we draw that on the, the picture, minus comes before naught, so here may be minus 0 0.3. Draw a line going up, and that area there must be the 0 0.8, sorry, 382. One other question before we leave this. If you were given this thing, find the probability that z is between minus 1 and 2.01. Have a look at the diagram. Here's naught, so between minus 1 and 2.01. So we're after that area in the middle. Now our calculator can work out less than or greater than. I prefer to use the less than, so I shall change this problem. We can find less than 2.01. And if we look at the diagram, if I find all that area, that will be all of this, including this area here. So what I need to do to get rid of that bit there is take away the probability x is less than minus 1, and then I'll be left with the bit in the middle. So I take away the probability x is less than minus 1, sorry, z is less than minus 1. Pop it into the machine. So we want less than which is the p button 2.01 and the bracket take away p again minus one less than minus one and it'll give me the area in the middle 0 0.819 so that is this shaded area here, 0.819, and that's it.
squirrels fallen asleep, so it must have been enjoyable.